all you guys doing today each boy king history another video and i went to my grandma's house and Janine what's her hi Jerling Eastland Eastland and we're talking about our president Donald Trump we're also talking about days in my in modern society and you know how it was back in the day for slaves and when we were talking about this I kind of broke down inside because she explained to me that she lived on a slave plantation and that she was born on a slave pan slave plantation and you know it, it what just, year was it it was 1938 1937 1937 and really to hear that she was born there it really broke me down inside because my own grandma you know picked cotton and you know lived in a little shack so it really hurt it inside for me to hear stories like that but when people say oh slavery just happened it it, it just happened it wasn't people say it was 200 years ago 300 years ago no it just happened it literally just happened Martin the king didn't get assassinated 100 years ago he just got assassinated so people out there saying oh you know uh, my grandpa you know he owned slaves and you know he was racist okay it just happened that was your grandpa so when then I why stories, do you why why does the world like to paint the picture that this went on so long ago now look at my grandmother that's his great grandmother that's my grandma remember what he told you she was born in 1937 and she still was born on a plantation now now talk about some of the things that our grandmother told us about her life well she didn't go to school and they didn't treat her the best in a plantation and she couldn't learn how to read and write because no one there probably one or two people there knew how to learn how to write, how to talk correctly in the proper manner. But really, to be honest with you, no one else knew how to. It never went to school. They so how old was she? School. How old did she say she was when she went to school for the first time? She was twelve. Twelve. First grade. In the first, in the first grade. First grade. Twelve years old, almost a teenager. Okay, now she talked. She told us about uh, sharecropping and her her grandfather and her her mama and her daddy and what they had to do on plantation. Sharecropping. When the amendment was about to where we can all lay slaves go, it was another amendment. I forgot what it was called, but it was an amendment to where if you're a slave or what they called us Negroes, if you could, if you didn't have the paper or you want, you you don't own yourself or own anything. You had to have a job. You have to have a job. Showing that you had a paper. Or you went back to the plantation. So the slave in the plantation was like, okay, we'll do this. We can get arrested and do what we gotta do, or we can work here. But I want the white man. I want you, you guys, to pay us. And the white man like, okay, I don't have no other option. You know, the slaves wanna leave. They like the way that I'm treating them. So let's 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 pay them. Let let's pay them. And we, you know, we paid them. And you know what? The white man paid them. They paid them this much. They they paid them nothing. And sharecropping. Okay, so this was this was a really good hook that they did. So they got burned every year. Our grandparents out of their hard work. You know what I'm saying? Every year they got burnt because from what our grandmama said, they received nothing. All that work through the whole year, them trying to make it better for their lives. Just coming 